I'm going to talk about the difference between statements and expressions, and why you should care, from the perspective of a barely functional dev. First of all, we have statements. Statements are the constructs that those outside of functional programming are probably already most familiar with. Things like if and for and switch, those types of things. And the key distinction with statements is that they don't produce a value. They do all their work via side effects. What this ends up meaning is that statements rely on statements that executed before them and or statements have an effect on other statements that execute after them. What this ends up meaning the majority of the time is that statements need to be executed in order, one at a time, on a single thread in order for them to work correctly. Now expressions, on the other hand, are different in that they actually produce a value. That value can be a single value, like a number or string or representations of objects, those types of things, or it can be a compound value. It can even have placeholders within that expression for filling in values that aren't known ahead of time. What this ends up meaning though, is because it's just a value or something that can be computed into a value, is that they can be executed at any time, in any order, on any thread. This is what leads to many of the concurrency benefits that expressions provide, which I'll be going into in future videos. Right now, I just wanted to lay the groundwork for what the difference is between statements and expressions. And that'll do it for me for now. Of course, I want you to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, all those sorts of things. But I don't need to tell you that because you're a smart person. You know how to use YouTube. You're not a barely functional dev like me.